And it is that very passion that's driving kids into martial arts from a very young age. My daughter has been training since she was six years of age. Uh, she's now about to turn 15 years of age. She's trained in a number of different styles. Uh, she's a probationary second dan in karate and uh, really loves doing the, uh, the cross training and getting involved in the Muay Thai. When she was in primary school she had uh, quite a few issues with bullying. We thought the best way to address that was to, to get her into martial arts. Uh, we've noticed a big change in her self-confidence, uh, in her ability to focus uh, and her ability to, to tackle different challenges that get thrown at her, you know, whether, be they social situations or, or school situations, you know, academic sorts of situations. We find that it's, uh, it's helping to equip her you know, for, for situations as she's growing up into a, into a young woman. I believe that the martial arts gives the, the children some focus, some coordination and they're disciplined. They're taught to respect. It's not about uh, hitting or punching each other. It's more about discipline and, and a sport and being fit. So um, that myth of coming to kickboxing and then going to school and start hitting others, that doesn't happen and they don't feel that they need to do that anyway because they're feeling good in themselves. My son's 11 and he's been training for two years now and uh, he's really enjoying it. The benefits with the training for Nicholas I've noticed is his confidence and coordination and uh, he just really enjoys it, he loves coming down. The training's also helped with his basketball and he plays with a lot bigger kids and he doesn't feel intimidated like he used to. So my daughter, she's uh, turning from a, a teenager, you know, starting to, to turn into a, a young woman now and I think it's important that she's got the, the sorts of skills that martial arts can provide. So I think as parents it gives us a degree of confidence that when she does start going out and mixing with things at, at school parties or getting into the nightclubs in a few years time, uh, you know, that she's had the, the background and the grounding that she's got to be able to deal with those situations uh, in terms of the, the self-confidence and the self-defence. So they're starting young. In fact, younger is probably the best way to put it. Great physical training, we all know that. But so many more important aspects than just the physical training. Well, it, it really is um, developing a young mind, developing a young self-esteem, um, you know, you know, being more confident in your own ability, um, you know, it's all part of it. Is there a right time for a youngster to start in the martial arts? Is there an optimum time? Is there a good time, a bad time? Probably, look, I'd like to say probably around about when kids are starting school. So primary school age is probably a good time. You know, kids are starting to learn that they have to focus, they have to listen to teachers, you know, they, they have to pay attention to tasks. So that's probably the optimum time. Respect, not just physical respect, respect for peers, respect for others, but respect for yourself, very important. Well, def definitely. Of course, uh, you know, these days there's a lot of ambiguity around how one person should treat another, yes, perhaps, yes. when it comes back to basic traditional mm. values. But treat people as you like to be treated yourself. You know, that, that is really the golden rule for me. You were mid-teens before you started initially in judo and, and we've spoken about yeah. it on too many occasions. You wish it was a whole lot earlier. I, I do, you know, and uh, to me, it probably everything I've become and everything I am, I owe to the martial arts training. Um, I was a bit of a troubled youth, I suppose, in, the, in that I had very low self-esteem, mm. was contemplating, you know, even suicide and, and had a lot of personal issues mm. when I was a lot younger, um, lacked a bit of direction, um, was bullied at school mm. um, a lot, um, to the point, especially in secondary school, um, I didn't want to go to school. Mm. Um, and I grew up in a very hard industrial um, suburb of, of Melbourne. Yep. Went to North, a school called Northcote Tech, which was renowned for being pretty hard back mm. in the day. Um, and you know, all sorts of weird and wonderful things happened to me, mostly on the mm. on the bad side, I would say. The martial arts training give me purpose, give me direction, give me brotherhood, mm. give me mentoring, mm. um, and really give me a reason to live. And that's you know, that's that's really. Uh, in the big package, how, how I'll put it out there. Yeah, spoken by one of the experts of the industry in Australia. If you do have uh, kids or, or nieces, nephews, friends, it is an ideal world for them to enter and probably a lot different from what the stereotype is.